friends, it's Jasmine, and I hope that you all are doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a witchy content creator here on YouTube and several other platforms as well. So if you're interested, check out all of my links down below. And if you are a returning subscriber, it's really good to see you here. Thank you for coming back. Let's get into today's video. In today's video, I have like a little bit of a haul and just kind of a vlog. So this is going to just be a casual sort of style video where I've taken little clips throughout the day over the course of about a week and a half, two weeks. I don't know if anyone else has been having the same issue that I have had. And this is really not necessarily witchcraft related. I mean, it kind of is because glamour is very much a part of craft, but I know that this is not going to be some people's cup of tea. Some people probably aren't going to care about this. So if you just want to flash forward, uh, feel free. I've been wearing acrylic nails since I was in high school, like religiously. It is a huge part of like the pleasure in my life and my identity. And I just love it. I love everything about nails. It makes me feel very feminine and like in my own skin. And it's a powerful form of self-expression. And I just love it. Um, and I'm known for having like kind of crazy out there nails. Well, I've been able to stretch my acrylic sets like four, sometimes even five weeks. And I know we're really supposed to go like every two to three, but I've always been able to stretch mine. And for years, okay, years, I've been able to do this. But lately, it seems like they're not lasting as long. I don't know. I heard that like a lot of the manufacturing has changed. I don't know if it's the molymer or the polymer like I don't know what's going on but my nails are lasting me sometimes not even two weeks like sometimes they'll last me a week or a week and a half before they're already lifting again and it doesn't matter if I get a new set or a fill and nothing else in my life has changed I am very hard on my hands um and with work my hands are in and out of water quite a bit, whether it be from bartending or from barbering. Um, my hands are in and out of water a lot. So that doesn't necessarily help my situation, but still, like nothing's changed and the nails are not lasting as long. Um, so I've decided I'm going to try to start doing my own nails from home. Now, I do have a cosmetology license. I do have a background. Um, in that. That being said, I've been a licensed cosmetologist primarily working as a barber for like the past decade. The last time I touched acrylic or like doing my nails was probably beauty school. So it's been a long time. So I ordered some stuff to kind of try out, some different methods and some different things to kind of try out. If you guys are interested, I will happily share what you know, I know and my tips from doing this with you all as soon as I figure out what really works for me. Because like I said, I'm really hard on my hands. Um, but if I could get a set from home, like if I could get some press-ons to last me even two weeks, even a week, I would save so much money. So I was influenced on TikTok, I saw this brand called Loveful Nails, and I was looking at their press-on sets and they're really, really pretty nails. They have like where you can select the custom sizing for your nail bed, which is nice because I have pretty long and also wide nail beds. Um, so that's nice because sometimes with press-ons, like I've been hesitant because sometimes press-on sets come as like an all size and like we're not the all size, okay? Um, those are too little for my nail beds. So I felt good about being able to select the custom size and the custom length, because I do like them long. But if I'm gonna start doing like press-ons and figuring out what's gonna work, I might take my nails a little shorter. We might move into like the medium territory as opposed to like the XL territory if I'm able to keep them on longer. We'll see. I like being a harpy woman. I like feeling like I'm able to descend upon a rotisserie chicken with my nails, you know, like, it's part of us. It's part of our identity. 
that being said, I ordered a Loveful press-on set and I just finished them. So today is Thursday when I've put these on. I will keep you guys updated in this vlog or wherever else about how I feel about how they last. Um, I have a full work shift booked and busy tomorrow. So we'll see how they last through a full day at work. Um, and then I am off this weekend. But this is the set. How pretty are these loveful nails? Do you see like the cute little teddy bears and the rhinestones? Guess how much I paid for this. These are handmade press-ons. It was like 20 something dollars. Right. So if this works out, I'm going to be saving so much money. Um, I also ordered like a gel kit and some other stuff. We're going to try it out. I have some coven mates also that are working on doing their own nails. So we're just going to have to see what works and trade mystery secrets about how we do our nails. But yeah, I definitely, I mean, is this witchcraft like smack you in the face witchcraft? It could be. No, I'm kidding. But I do think that glamour magic, sometimes people sleep on it, but I really do think that the aesthetics and the presentation has a lot of power and has a lot of influence in that. And also I know that even just for myself, like when I feel like I'm put together or I look good, it changes the way I interact in the world. Cause like when you feel good and you look good, you like do good, you know what I mean? So yeah. Okay, so I just finished a full work shift, cutting hair, shampooing hair, busy it was a busy friday okay all of these nails have stayed on i was a little bit concerned like they feel sturdy but i don't know with the hot towels and the facials and cutting hair and shampooing and everything i really wasn't sure how it was gonna go like if they were gonna stay on or not but i didn't even lose like a single charm like get into it also i just got a package that has been delivered. So I'm probably gonna share with you guys some of the stuff that I ordered. Most of it is all nail stuff. Um, I feel like I'm entering like a whole new era right now. Like who is this new like nail tech jazz? Like, oh my God, no, I'm kidding. Okay, anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm home from work and I don't even wanna talk about my hair. It was rainy and gross. I worked like eight hours at the shop today. However, I do have a little bit of a haul to share with you guys. And like I said, it came while I was at work. And so this is also kind of gonna be like an unboxing. So I have this big package, this big package here. I also have some stuff from the TikTok shop as well. I came across this, um, which these are the Life Story interview kit. And it's 150 cards with like question prompts. Um, the way that this was marketed was questions to ask the dying. So, I mean, my grams isn't dying, um, but I am kind of her at home care provider. I do like home health aid stuff for her. I'm also her POA and she is like 90. So like she is getting up there. I thought this would be a really cool way to kind of get to know her more um, and more of her life story. Like one of the questions on the cards is like, how did you get your first name? You know, like kind of thought provoking questions that you might not think to ask your parents or your grandparents or a friend. I also think that these cards would make really good writing prompts as well. So I might open this and like kind of take a look at it and share it with you guys. I really don't have much of a first impression other than this is just like what the box looks like. Oh God, that glare is really bad. Also, I want to say that this was like, I think $12. Okay, now I do want to give a little bit of a disclaimer here when it comes to this haul. And some of you are not going to like this, um, but this is from Timu. Timu is notorious for fast fashion and super, super unethical business practices. Um, so, you know, um, maybe don't order from Timu um, if that's how you feel. But this is from Timu. And, um, you know, I'm not maybe the most ethical. Um, so, 
there's your disclaimer. I did order like 26 things from Timu. So this is quite the haul. So if you want to get yourself like a snack or something, um, I recommend that you do so. But I have a few things that were not in this big package. For whatever reason, they sent me one package with like six items and then everything else came in this other package. The things I got is this Yanu acrylic powder. Um, you know, I'm trying different things with my nails. Like I mentioned, these are press-ons here, but I also kind of want to try like the dip method, possibly also doing my own acrylics. So I got a little bit of clear powder. This is the brand Han Chao and it's just a soak off gel um, UV top coat. This is the Alsa Alisa gel polish. This is like a really pretty sparkly nude. So I'm excited to kind of try this. I don't know how well you're going to be able to actually see this on camera. It kind of like looks a lot darker, but it swatches kind of more jelly. Oh my God, that was an ice cream truck. I also got just like a plain black gel polish. This is the Ai Sheng brand. And then this is a nail adhesive UV gel. So I think that this is kind of for press-ons, like to cure them with gel, but also rhinestones. Because you know, I like like a little bit of bling, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I thought that that was just kind of odd that like those six items came in a package separate from this big shipment, but whatever. Okay, so this is gonna be the big Timu haul. What's so funny to me is like, sometimes when I get stuff from Timu, I feel like it's also from Shein because these bags are literally like the Shein bags just without the branding on it. Also, for those ghoulies out there that wear hair pieces or extensions or wigs, this texture of this bag that like Shein has and Timu, I don't know what it is, but they make great storage bags for your wigs, for your hair pieces. So save them and try it out and let me know what you think. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so fun. I'm like, how does it even go? So, okay. I haven't really talked about this a whole lot here on the channel. Um, but for those of you who've been following my channel for a while, or for those of you who read my book, Ambrosia's Book of Witch Flight, available on Amazon, um, you know that one of the things that our coven does is we packed with a working familiar for the witch's year. Last year, I was spirit pacted with our owl. This year, I am with the crow, the corved, the raven. And part of that is going to look like us building... Uh, ritual theater. So for a Sabbath later in the year, I'm going to be dressing up as the Corvid Mother, the Crow Spirit, and I'm kind of like getting a little bit of a fit together for it. So this is actually like a collar thing. I don't know how well I'll be able to actually like show you guys right now, but basically like, you know, it goes around and then it's like short on one side and then it's like longer on the other. So it kind of like comes down your arm. I thought that this was really fun. And I also really like the color of the feathers. Like I like that almost green sort of like sheen to it. Okay, the way that this box looks is highly suspect. I'm really nervous. But also this is Timu, right? So you gotta know that. Like when you're ordering fast fashion or this cheap stuff on these apps like Shein or Timu, you gotta know that sometimes the quality is just not gonna be there. But also like you're paying a dime and a nickel, so what do you expect? I don't even think that this lamp has a brand. I can't even see a brand. It just says dual light source LED UV lamp. So the lamp comes like so like that. I thought it was cute because it was pink. Um, of course, I'm gonna get myself the pink lamp and it has a 30, 60, and 90 like second thing on it. And then it comes with this cord. I don't even know how this is gonna work. We're just gonna have to play around with it and see. Um, you know, and if I end up liking doing my own gel, um, I might invest in a nicer lamp, but you know, this is just kind of playing around, figuring out like what is going to work in my nail journey. And a lot of this stuff is going to be nails, like, or nail related. 
Just so you know. Just so you know. I don't even remember what this is. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show this right now, but this is basically like a lace cardigan. So maybe later I'll show you guys like what it looks like on, um, but it feels really soft. So these are so cute. So these are nail art stickers. And these were advertised as zombie Easter bunny nail art. But like, I love the flowers and like the little zombie like bunnies and the corset lacing. Like I just thought that this whole pack was super cute. I also got some other press on nails from Timu because I've never tried them. Again, these are handmade press ons from Loveful Nails. And I do have an affiliate link, it'll be down below. Um, but I'm still kind of testing these nails out. So far it's been about 48 hours or so. So far so good, but I'm still testing these. So if you wanna use my affiliate link and try them out, feel free, but I'm not necessarily putting like my gold stamp of approval on it yet um, until I really wear these for at least a week. So I got these press-ons from Timu. I just thought that these were cute. They have like little crescent moons and it's like a black French tip sort of ombre. I was pulling these loveful nails out of the package. They're pretty sturdy, like you cannot bend them. Um, so in some ways I feel like maybe that will make them more durable. But also sometimes I think if it's a little bit more bendy, that flexibility might also make them more durable. So again, we're just trying out different things. If you have any press on nail tips for me, please leave them down below. I will also let you know what I think of these. I will probably post them when I do these. Okay, so this next item is actually gonna be a part of that Corvid Mother sort of outfit. And this is a mask, which I think I'm probably going to dress up a little bit and add my own touch to it. That's really loud, I'm sorry. Guys, get into it. Oh, this is like a Corvid Mother mask. Get into it. It has like a head string. That, I don't know why I can't think of the word. But yeah, that's how it goes on your head. And then I think that this is just like pleather. It's definitely pretty cheap. Um, and I think I would like to add like actual feathers, maybe like hot glue, because this is just like pleather. So, I mean, I don't know, it's not bad. But I think I would like to add more of like those greenish tinted black feathers and make this like a whole thing, but like, again, for pennies and nickels on the dime, like, I can't really be that mad at it, right? Okay, this is another press-on set that I got from Timu. I will let you guys know what I think of these. The brand for this one is Beautiful Nails. The brand for the other one is just called Nails. So, these are, like, bloody fingernails. I thought that those were super fun. I do think that these look kind of narrow, which I'm a little bit concerned about because I have pretty wide and pretty long nail beds. So I don't know if these are gonna fit or not, but you know what, if some of this stuff doesn't work out, I know plenty of other ghoulies who I could gift this to, or who knows, like maybe I'm gonna start doing a at-home little nail salon gig, okay? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just figuring it out. I got this press-on set also by the brand Beautiful Nail. These are another like set of bloody press-ons, but they have little spider webs. They also look kind of narrow. I don't know if these are made for like young adult. I don't know. Why are there kids on the packaging? You know, I don't know. We're gonna try these though. We're gonna try them out. We're gonna try them out. I really wanna know like how I, I kinda wanna open one of these and just see like how flexible they are. Because I've seen some folks like online compare different press on nails based on their flexibility. I'm not gonna do it right now. These stickers here, um, there's little hearts and moons. There's like little hearts and moons and brooms. Okay, so I'm excited about this. These are extra long 
full nail cover tips, 240 pieces. So like with these, I'm thinking I could make my own press-ons. Um, I don't know, we're gonna see. 240 of them, so. Okay, when I saw these on Timu, I thought that these were super, super cute. Um, I think the brand is just called Glitter Tattoo, but they're fairy wings. And so this is an assorted pack. You get more than just these, but like people put them like where you would do like your cat eye, but like with the wings. How cute, right? I was thinking about wearing these for like our May Day Sabbath. So I don't know. Plus like who doesn't wanna just have fairy temporary tattoos when you know, you never know if you're gonna be in a situation where you're gonna need fairy wing temporary tattoos. Like, obviously I needed to have these. Like this was a must have sort of purchase. Like it wasn't negotiable for me. Okay, and then so I got this, which is kind of hard to see because like the glare from my ring light is atrocious and I'm sorry, but this is a waist chain. I might show it to you guys here in a little bit. Some of the stuff that you can't really see well right now, I might like, take a little quick shot and show you guys, but it's a pentagram waist chain. Oh my gosh, I love how this box was handled. Love that, slay. Oh, and these are sunglasses. Let's open them up. Okay, so even though the box looked like really scary, they look like they're still in pretty good condition. You guys, get, get into this. get into it okay those are just gonna live on my head now for the rest of this video i got some more uh glitter tattoo of the fairy wing variety this is another variety pack i got these which are like they're little um fabric flowers that are on individual little clips we are wearing flower crowns at all of our covens um life half of the year Sabbath. And I have a bunch of flower crowns already, but can you really ever have enough? No. And I was thinking, you know, instead of getting my hair like all smushed, like I could do a flower crown by like just doing like clips. And then I could kind of like style my hair however I want and not have to consider the fact that I'm wearing a flower crown that's gonna like smush my hair and all the volume because who wants to do that, especially on a Sabbath? You know what I mean? Like you wanna look cute. So you guys like get the vibe, like you get where we're going with this. Okay, I also got these adorable earrings. And again, if you've read my book, you know what spirit from the book this is gonna remind you of. Comment it down below, okay? Look at these, look how cute these are. Oh my goodness. They're little mushroom babies. Mm -hmm. And then I also got these, which is kind of hard to see in the package, so I'll take them out. Um, but they are cicada wings. The cicadas are supposed to be really loud and out of control this year. You know, it happens every so often where they just come out of the ground and scream their head off which I honestly just think is like really relatable. Like, I feel like cicadas are kind of slept on and they shouldn't be. So look at these earrings, cicada wing earrings, get into it. Um, I also, I read Marshall, the Witch of Southern Lights book, um, Southern Words. I always wanna mix up like Marshall's book and Aaron Oberon's book, Southern Cunning and Southern Words get into it. But in Marshall's book, there's a really cute chapter on working with the cicada as an American witch or as a witch in the South. And we have cicadas here too. You know, we do. We do. We have them here too. I'm honestly really shocked at the quality of these cicada wing earrings. Um, sometimes earrings from Timu are just yeah, really cheap and kind of trash, but these feel like pretty good quality resin. So I don't know how well they'll last, but they're adorable. 
I always try to go out of my way to make sure that any like ear jewelry I wear is on the lighter side. There are a lot of really gorgeous like black and dark purple earrings and hangers and droppers that I would just love to have, hun. But unfortunately with my dark hair, you really, it just gets lost, you know? So, but this is cute. This is real cute. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that this is like a full nail hygiene kit that I ordered. I remember ordering it in pink. Looks like I got navy blue. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did order these in pink, but they sent me like this blue and purple variety. Oh well, again, we're paying like a penny, a dime, and a nickel for this stuff. So it's hard to really be that mad. And again, I also don't know like how quality this is going to be. I'm going to have to play around with it and see. But for someone who's just kind of dipping their toes back in the water of doing nails again, I didn't want to go out and like buy a bunch of really nice nail stuff because I'm the type of neurodivergent that is absolutely 100% convinced that we're going to be great at whatever new hobby we decide to pick up. I go out of my way, I buy all this nice stuff, I do it twice, and I never touch it again, and it just takes up space. So I figured I would try to do like the smarter thing and just like buy some mid to lower quality, just cheap stuff to kind of play with and see if this new hobby of mine actually sticks before I really invest in anything like an expensive gel lamp. I also got these cicada earrings and I forgot that I ordered these. They're like more pigmented, I think, than these ones. At least they look like it. And then I think this is the last thing that I ordered. And you guys, this is so cute. So with May Day coming up, with Beltane around the corner, like I said, we're wearing flower crowns. The coven is at our Sabbath. And, you know, I feel like the spring tide in general up through, okay, the vernal equinox, May Day, and the summer solstice, and even up through that, I just think that there's so many opportunities to live your best fae life and to really dress up and really give nature spirit, really give magic, really serve fairy. So I got some elf ears. These ones have like little pearl piercings and chains on them. And then these ones have little pearl chains and butterflies on them. Super excited. Let's put some on. Get into it. There's definitely ways to kind of like make these look a little bit better, like putting a little foundation on your ear and kind of like blending them out. But for just throwing these on really quick, it's not bad. It's not bad. I like the little earrings. That's fun. Also, if you're wondering what these threads are back here, I am currently working on braiding some gray cords, which is like our way of referring to green cords sort of within our coven. If you're interested in me talking more about which cords, gray cords, green cords, what have you, comment down below and let me know and maybe I'll make a video about it. Okay, so those nails actually stayed on pretty well. Um, I kept them on for a little over a week and I could have probably kept them on longer, but I got some new ones in that I really wanted to try. These are the nails that I got from Timu. These were 99 cents and these have also stayed on for a week. Um, now they're definitely like more bendable and I can tell that the quality is not the same. Um, however, I'm honestly really surprised by these 99 cent nails. Um, I will probably continue to get the loveful nails, but also every once in a while I might try out one of these like cheap dollar sets because why not? And I think that these like bloody horror nails are so cute. And also I am wearing the new waist chain that I got today. 
And I'm also wearing the little mushroom baby earrings that I got. Currently getting ready to go over to the garden center over by my house with one of my coven mates and we're gonna go look at flowers. And then we're gonna be going to my favorite cemetery around here. I hope that you all are doing well and until next time, blessed be and I will see you in hell. The howling whispers tear at the scars Leaving a broken and vandalized jar The soul ignited and burns as a flame Turns all to ash with its village to blame uh...